So, G, Giorgio, two questions for you. Last time we spoke on the phone and shit, you said some shit about you was getting blackballed in the industry. Yeah, and you, you're saying you think you think you're getting blackballed out of fear for you if shit go wrong, or out of fear that the real niggas basically gonna get their chance, so studio niggas gonna have to basically step down. Exactly, it is what it is, and then you gotta realize me with 40, 50 million. So crap. Oh motherfucker, now man. You giving me some bond money like that, man? Nigga, we gonna turn it up on every motherfucker that we feel that ain't real niggas. And that's why they not letting us in because of shit like this. Me telling them, giving them a heads up, letting niggas know what we gonna do. I'm cheating for them right now. Cause you don't give a nigga so, a you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't know how to mingle with real gangsters, man. Niggas is living this lifestyle. They want a way out, dog. I'm gonna help y'all niggas out. We, not they, we want a way out. Help us out. We want to get off our block. We don't love our block like that. We say we love our block. But nigga, we want to go to Miami. We want to go to Hawaii and all you where the fuck y'all going. But we look at y'all as young black brothers. And we know that it's wolves all around the country that's trying to touch y'all and take y'all shit. But who do y'all niggas call to get y'all shit back? You know what I'm saying? It's them wolves. So if you make a room, make room for them wolves to eat, it ain't like you paying peon fee or no shit like that. Nigga, you being protected. Because honestly, you know what I'm saying, a nigga, like a, a, a good saying that we used to use, niggas a stick up, don't make it a murder. You know what I'm saying? Or it's a stick up, this a stick up, don't make it a homicide pickup. You feel me? So if you're taking too long to unbutton that, that jacket, we getting down on your ass. Happen. You know what I'm saying? It, it's simple as that. What up, man? So, you know what I'm saying? And then I, he said, what's up, pimp? I'm pimp to the bitches. <laughs> Y'all gotta thank you. I'm from the shot, man. We do that. We gang bang, sell drugs, and pimp hoes, man. Like, that's what we do. We hustlers in all types of ways. Whichever way we can hustle, we hustle. You so, did. when y'all getting them lap dances in New York, y'all getting them lap dances in L.A. and Chicago and Miami. Yeah, some of that money. I ain't gonna tell y'all the girls that we got working the clubs <laughs> and y'all wanna slack on getting us that paper in the D. You know when we got them bitches in the D too, you know what I'm saying? Know you and then we speak out we speak out mad and we we ain't we ain't not trying to shout y'all out, baby, but y'all keep making that money because there's some haters out here, man. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. And once they know that y'all affiliated with us, once again we speaking about blackballing, they ain't gonna tip y'all no more. Y'all irresistible, but they ain't gonna tip y'all. And that's just how it is, man. My man young Dre, he holding it down on the West Coast. He's strong with the PI game, man. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I had all the chances in the world to really just get full-fledged pimping, but I chose not to. That street money was coming faster than that shit. I'm not going to be chasing no bitches around for no hundred, two hundred dollars or whatever the fuck they can get. Or if I did, I would have had to have my bitches working. Them executive niggas. Give me some plastic around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? If I if I was to choose to do it, but however nigga gotta get it, gorilla pimping, pimping, however you do it, keep pimping, man. Keep PI, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so and that's it, man. That's really what it is. But blackballing wise, yeah, man, you know, like I said, if you got true life saying fuck dipset and they know that's my family, shit, what you think them niggas gonna do if I try to go to Koch? Some of them are going to call Cotton and be like, no, nah, we don't need that nigga to get in. That's more firepower for them niggas. We beefing right now. And you know what I'm saying? Jim was like my little brother. I fucked with Jim Happy. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like the man cut me short for whatever reason, but wasn't man enough to come to me and tell me why I'm not hearing from him no more. But when the drama was going down crazy, guns blazing them from left and right, and all kind of shit was popping, my phone was ringing, yup, yup, through the phone, the chirp is blurping, everything was cracking. And it's just like a nigga, you don't just fade away from a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's something to that. So... The shit ain't nothing to me. Like, I don't wish no death on a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, he's like a little brother to me, man. And as far as game with his situation with the G Unit shit, the chain got took in the shot, of course. I was called to get it back. Of course, I found out that they basically was saying, that's bullshit. JoJo and them took it. Now they trying to get it back to get a deal and all this old shit. Like, I heard all kind of shit. Who's but chain? Who's chain got took the G people spin, that I don't know? The G Unit chain, the spinning piece. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The chain got took or whatever. I try to look out for the little nigga with the nigga Young Buck because he gave it to his partner, you know what I'm saying, his hype man or some shit, and the nigga got it took, some police got shot and all kind of shit. 
why the chain was getting took. I just did my part and say, fuck it, it happened on my soil. I can get it back. You know what I'm saying? And it was less than 10 minutes. Nigga, we, and I guess because the phone call went through so quick, you see what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Y'all can't shit, get mad. They put but, it on you. Right, but you can't get mad that you got a nigga that's really in tune with his city and it really in tune in, with the streets. Like niggas say they street shit. niggas, nigga. Yeah. Shit, if, if, if some nigga around me shit got took in one of you niggas cities, shit, I would expect the call like, man, you know what I'm saying, that's a good brother, man, you know, try to reach his shit and get his shit back. Exactly. But then for y'all to slap a nigga in the face for trying to help, like, that shit was kind of wrong too, so I don't know, man, like. 50, you know what I'm saying, 50 know me, you know, 50 cool, he, he ain't called or reached out to me and said it was no problem, so I feel like, fuck it, it ain't no problem, I've done a good deed, young buck will tell you with sincerity in his eyes, nigga, I told him flat out, nigga, you know what I'm saying, because the niggas wasn't going to just let the chain go, so for the money wise, I'm like, nigga, I put up half for the motherfucker, you see what I'm saying, and, he, and you can go find young buck whenever, whenever, and ask him himself, and he'll tell you, homie a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? I told him point blank, you already know it's real in the field. He started smiling when I told him that because I guess he had a song or some shit. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? But he, he was like, you know what I'm saying? I told him, nigga, I'll give you half of what the niggas want for the chain back. You know what I'm saying? So he could leave the town with his shit. Some respect. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he going to get blamed for it, dog. If 50 gave he the chain, you see what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. Nigga, you responsible for the motherfucker. That's real shit because if I give a nigga my shit, now nah, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. All true life say this shit all the time. He gonna die for his chain and shit. I don't want none of my niggas dying over no motherfucking jury. It's wax, man. This shit is wax. It's the dignity, but the shit can happen. If you ain't got your niggas around you with them bankers, that type of shit gonna happen. So if you don't want your shit getting took or you getting exposed in any kind of way, don't wear the shit. It's simple as that. Because it's niggas that's around you that's thirsty. You feel me? And then, you know, of course, the chain gotta pray. The chain was fake. So ain't no motherfucker gonna keep it. Whoa, 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 hold up. The chain was fake. So ain't no motherfucker gonna keep it. Whoa, 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 hold up. The chain was fake. So ain't no motherfucker gonna keep it. Whoa, 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 hold up. You know, the, the spinning shit in the middle, that shit was real. Them big diamonds on the outside, that shit was fake. But the chain was fake. The G unit. The G unit. Yeah. The chain that everybody got their chance to wear is costume jewelry. So if you jewelers too, like we got some barbarian pieces made, you know, the, our logo. We got some pieces made out of New York, and niggas was like, you know, JoJo, the, the guys in the crew that don't have the money, you know, we can always put the zirconiums in it, because that's what we doing for all the rappers now. So it can look like the like, real one. I'm going to tell you this, yeah. my first on the diamond, man. <laughs> April the 10th, man, my first on the diamond. I ain't never wearing no, no fake shit. No I don't want no nigga around me wearing no fake shit. If you don't have it, you don't have it. It's simple as that. If I ain't got it, I ain't got it, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to wear no look-alike substance and... For the videos, now man, fuck them videos. I'm gonna wear my jewelry when I make enough of that bread, and I'm gonna put the shit on. That's the kind of shit I instill in my niggas. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. So that way they don't fall up under that peer pressure. You feel me? To feel like they gotta kick in some more doughs and rob some more niggas. To, Cause it's happening out here.